Hey everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we're going to be cracking open a bunch of packs of Theros Beyond Death uh, for our patrons along with going through uh, and building some packs out of our Build-A-Pack box. Uh, if you would be interested in knowing more about our Patreon or possibly signing up to get some of this wonderful stuff, uh, check out the description down below this video. You'll find a link to our Patreon channel uh, as well as you know our Twitter, our Facebook, and all the many ways you can get a hold of us. <clears throat> so uh, two things I want to start off saying uh, before we dive into this is uh, if you are a patron... Um, I understand sometimes, you know, people move, uh, things get hectic, um, and I do my best if you, like, if you message me, um, to tell me, like, a new address or something, uh, I, I do my best to try to remember, but essentially, uh, I have a, a, a spreadsheet that I use, uh, from Patreon, and, uh, that's how I do all my mailings, so it is imperative that if your address, uh, or anything like that changes, uh, th it's imperative that you change it on Patreon, because, like I said, I download the spreadsheet directly from them, and, and that's how I do all my mailings, and if, uh, I happen to forget that you message me saying, hey, this is a different address, uh, I may not remember because my memory is absolutely garbage. So uh, please, that's a, a, a big thing. Uh, if your information changes, be sure to change it on Patreon. Second of all, um, in the video we had earlier this week, um, I'm not sure if it's going up uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, or if it went up Tuesday or Wednesday, but essentially we said, hey, we're going to be giving away packs uh, in this next upcoming video, so comment. Um, well, not thinking that we essentially had to shoot this video almost directly after that one just so we could get the editing done in time and get it up and all that. Uh, so we are not going to be doing a giveaway this video uh, for a free pack of cards. Um, essentially, we, we don't have any videos from last week that people commented on because we've been streaming a whole bunch uh, because of the uh, early access event that we had for Theros and then our sponsorship week before that. Uh, so to make up for it, next week uh, we'll be giving away an extra pack. So we'll, we'll be giving away uh, at least two packs next week. So just kind of bear that in mind uh, as we go through this. And now to get in on those contests, the only thing you have to do is you have to be subscribed to the channel and then you have to comment and then your comment automatically enters you even if the comment is simply i want to comment to enter the contest or i just want to win um in fact it actually worked for i don't remember who did it but somebody essentially put the comment in um i just want to win the card or something and then they wound up winning so it was kind of cool anyway so let's go ahead and flip these cameras and we will jump into it uh the first person we have on our patreon list for today is going to be adam brody adam thank you so much for being a patron it is greatly appreciated uh he is in our, I believe it's called a director's board tier. So for 20 bucks, he gets this right here, four packs of the current standard. And then we're going to build him a pack out of our Build-A-Pack box. But our packs have two rares, not just one. And this is all random. And then you get a f common or uncommon worth at least a buck. You then get a random foil. And then a random foil basic. And then 10 cards out of our collection here these are cards from throughout magic's history mostly new stuff but there is some older stuff thrown in even a few legacy things uh no alpha or beta or anything like that but there's also extra rares extra foils there's prize cards um lots of fun stuff in here so what do we got one two three four five six seven we need three more um, and then also, because we didn't pull any prize cards last month, I actually did go back through this box, and I went through all the cards just to make sure. And the prize cards in are in here, we just weren't hitting them. So, I don't know. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. Let's see what we got from Mr. Adam Brody. All right. We got, oh, back in center. We got ourselves a Boros Locket. We got a Charmed Sleep, uh, Sleep Paralysis. Looks like you're taking a nap with this deck. Uh, a Sparring Mummy. You got Nexus Wardens. You got uh, Aether Theorist, Trusty Pack Beast, uh, a Lotleth Giant. Big fan of that card. You got a Corpse Hauler from M14, and then Arrestors, a Dominate Ed. 
arresters, eh, admonition, 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 I don't know. Correct me. Someone tell me how to say that. You'd think I'd know how to speak English, but I don't. All right, our random foil basic is, oh, Adam. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. The Lorwyn Swamp. I was wondering when this one was going to come out of the box. Congrats. Congrats. All right, random foil is a random foil rare. You got a, a uh, pre-release Goblin Dark Dwellers. Your random uh, uncommon or uncommon worth, common or uncommon worth at least a buck. Words are my friend. We've got a mystical dispute. Yeah, that thing's seeing some play right now. All right, our first rare is going to be a Bearer of Silence, followed up by Tectonic Reformation. All right, well, congrats on your cards there. I don't think we did too shabby. Let's go ahead and see what you got in your packs. All right, so token land... Oh, there's a foil. Let's see what you got here. Excuse me. Dreamstalker Manicore, Sage of Mysteries, and Farika's Spawn. Your rare is the Akron War. This, I enjoyed this during pre-release. That's good stuff right there. All right, your foil is a Foil Unknown Shores. All righty. So, how did everyone's pre-release go? I'm just curious how things went, how you did. Get any crazy pulls? The one card I want from this set, I did not pull from pre-release, so I've got to keep searching. All right. Let's see what we got. You've got a Chainweb Arachnir. Enemy of Enlightenment. Uh, this was a good thing. One during pre-release as well. And then Hero of the Winds. With your rare being a Gravebreaker Lamia. Not a bad card. Not a bad card. All right. Do, do, do. We got that. We got that. Right. Oh, we got another foil. Sweet. Let's see. Oh, right off the bat, you got a Gary. Gary, good stuff. Uh, Underworld Fires and then Whirlwind Denial. With your rare being a Temple of Abandon. Followed up by a foil. Uh, Ilyasin? Ilyasane? Karyated? Ilyasane? You got that guy. All right, let's see. Shoot, there we go. We got rare. One, two, three. All right, no foil in this pack. Let's see what you got. You got yourself a fairies band, fairies band brawler. Uh, Timeret, chosen from death, not a bad card. And then agonizing remorse. With your rare being. Hey, Liberinth of Scaphos, or Scophos, Scophos? Oh, not a bad, not a bad card at all. All right, well, congratulations on your pulls. I don't think you did too shabby there. Thank you so much for being a patron, letting us do what we do. Um, you know, speaking of Patreon, um, I may, may as well announce this now. Um, we are actually, this is the last month that our prices are going to be essentially where they're at. Um, we, the, the price of booster boxes has gone up. Um, the price of shipping has gone up. I mean, since we started this, uh, so we are going to, unfortunately going to have to increase, uh, our, our tiers. We're not going to increase it by much. Essentially, we're just trying to help cover shipping and the extra money that we're spending on boxes. Uh, and when we first started, I think we were getting booster boxes for around 80, four ish dollars give or take um but now we are uh you know we're, we're paying more of upwards of 90 and plus to get them so um 
you know, as you can see from the tiers, I mean, like I said, for 20 bucks you get four packs, plus the Build-A-Pack box. I mean, we're, we, we cut it pretty close as it is. Um, so that is unfortunate. I apologize to anyone that's may inconvenience, but it's just, it's a necessary evil. So heads up there. All right, next up, who do we have? We have Mr. Golden Bohunsky. Golden, thank you so much for being a patron. He is also in our director's board, so he's getting four packs. We'll grab him one rare, two rare, common run, common worth a buck, at least a buck. Random foil, and then random foil basic, and then one, two, three, four, five, So, oh, grab two, but that only counts as one. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got for Mr. Golden, Bo Hunsky. We got a Dryad Green Seeker. Let's get back in the center here. Oh, we got a random rare. We got a domestication from M14. That's not too shabby. Uh, we got a Thunderous Snapper. We got a battlefield promotion. Fell the peasant. The pheasant. Fell the pheasant. I don't know. A vial of dragon fire. We got agonizing siphon. Uh, touch of the void. We got an altar's reap. Uh, crater eyes. And a sphinx of new prov. All right. Never a bad time getting extra rares. All right. Our basic is, ooh, look at you. You got a foil full art, Theros Beyond Death Mountain. Good stuff there. All right. Uh, random foil is, all right, you got a foil mythic, epic experiment. Good stuff. Common run, common worth, at least a buck. Racto Signet. That's not bad either. Man, you're... This right, this is good stuff. First rare is, we get an Underworld Breach. And then our second is Lifebane Zombie. All right, well, congrats on the build a pack. I don't think that was too shabby. Let's go ahead and see what you got in your packs. Oh, doing stuff backwards here. I know what I'm doing, I promise. All right, we got that. All right, so let's see what you got. What we got here? We've got Destiny Spinner. We got a Blood Aspirant and one with the stars. With your rare being, ta-da! Oh, you got a Mythic Heroid Sun Crown. Congratulations, sir, on that nice little hit. I heard that Heroid's kind of good. There's some kind of combo. In pioneer modernish that works with that. I don't know. All right, let's see what we get here. Two, three. All right. Let's see. We got a Calafi, beloved of the sea. We got a commanding presence and a sweet oblivion. With your next rare being. <laughs> Your next mythic is a Troxa Titan of Death's Hunger. Tell you what, Golden may be our one this month. Every month we seem to have one person that just knocks out of the park, except last month. Tell you what, last month I felt so bad for our patrons. Um, I went back through and, and ran some numbers. It was the worst month we've had for patrons ever. Like in the history of the channel. It was the worst month. Horrible. So we're hoping to make up for it. It looks like we're starting to. All right. We got a Scaphos Maze Warden. Uh, we've got a Dawn Evangel and Inevitable End. With your next rare, or mythic, being Erebos Intervention. I am a fan of that card. Good stuff right there. I wound up, uh, one of my sealed pools, I believe, on Arena, I wound up getting two of those and two of these Titans. Gross. All right, that, that, that. And, oh, that means we got a foil. 
All right, we got Archon of the Falling Stars. We've got Impending Doom. We've got The Birth of Miletus. Miletus? Miletus, I don't know. With your rare being! Oh, Artis, or Atris, Oracle of Half-Truths. That's a good card. I'm a fan. With your foil being a Setsian Petitioner. I like it. Well, congratulations, Golden, on what looks to be some epic pulls uh, from both the Build-A-Pack box and from your packs. Congratulations. Put your name card on there. Put that right there. All right, who do we have up next? Next up, we have Jonathan Vogelson. Jonathan, thank you so much for being a patron. It is greatly appreciated. Same thing, we got four packs. Building the pack out of the build the pack box. We got one, two, common or uncommon, random foil, random foil basic. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. You, know, you guys can't even really see me pull out of the box here, but I'm trying to do a, trying to meet everyone's requests. I've had more than a couple requests to, to get the cards closer, uh, when it's hard for me to do that and keep a consistent um, distance from the camera without being able to touch the mat. So essentially, this is as high as I can go. Um, so I've lowered my camera a bit. Let me know what you all think. Uh, if you'd rather see me pull stuff out of the box, or if you just have rather have close-ups of the card, let me know. Anyways, uh, we've got a Macabre Waltz. We've got a Grasp of Darkness. Uh, we've, oh, we got another rare, Clone. All right. We got a Decimator Beetle, Uncaged Fury, Ginger Brute. We've got a Brindle Boar, uh, Tall Rand's Invocation from, looks like M13. Uh, ooh, Darksteel Ingot, all the way from Darksteel. Not bad. An inspiring unicorn. All right, let's see what you got for your foil basic. It is a Magic Fest Forest. Congratulations on that. Your random foil is a Cathari Bomber uh, from one of the master sets. Common or uncommon, you got yourself a Wilderness Reclamation. First rare is a Dark Prophecy from M14, and then you get yourself a Midnight Clock. I'm a fan of that card. Well, congratulations on the Build-A-Pack box pack. Let's go ahead and open up your packs. Let's see what kind of good stuff we're getting for Jonathan. All righty. Let's see, you've got a Warden of the Chained, uh, Daxos, Blessed by the Sun, and Mirror Shield. Rare is... Another Mythic! Holy cats, we're pulling left and right. Iberos, Bleak Hearted. Nice. Very nice pull. That's three Mythics out of five packs so far. Not too shabby. Okay. Uh, Triumph of Annex, Sea God Scorn, and Fanalax Tactics with your rare being. Ooh, Nadir Kraken. I'm a fan of that one. I am a fan. Currently working on some builds with it that just seems like a good time. Seems like a good time. All right, rare, uncommon. All right, we got a Slaughter Priest of Mogus. We got Entrancing Liar and Laguna Band Storyteller. With your rare being, Shatter the Sky. Oh, not sure how I feel about that card. Um, I mean, a board wipe for four is nice. Um... It is sorcery speed, and, you know, 
hopefully you're playing the big beastie creatures and not your opponent. That way, um, you know, they're not drawing cards as well. All right. Got a Renata called to the hunt. Got a Siona or Siona, captain of the Pileys and Underworld Dreams. Tell you what, that would be, not be a bad pack. I'm just curious. I'm just real curious. Hold on. Curious what the rest of that, if, if this was a sealed thing. Uh, ooh, huh? Eh? Yeah, I mean, green doesn't look too bad. Green does not look too bad. All right. Let's go ahead and see what your rare is. Your rare is a Thassa's Oracle. Um, I've, I actually saw, I believe it was, who was I watching? Oh, I'm drawing a blank now of who I was watching stream. Uh, they were essentially playing this. They were playing this in a, a modern merfolk deck. And it was killing. Like, it was amazing. Like, you could either go the regular merfolk route and just win that way or win through. The, it was just, it was gross. It was gross. Good stuff, though. All righty. Is that, was that really four packs? Okay, I guess it is. All right, well, congratulations on your pulls there. I don't think you did half bad. Go ahead and get this over here. And, oh, man, I am. This video is going to go longer than I wanted it to. I apologize, folks. All right, that's going up there. Go ahead and do this. All right, who do we have up next? We have Mr. Arter Isakon. Arter, thank you so much for being a patron. It is greatly appreciated. He's getting two packs. Oh, and I just knocked a bunch of stuff over. All right, let's try this again. All right, so he's getting one rare, two rares, common or uncommon, random foil, foil basic, and then one, two, three. Oh, I guess we'll count that. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, let's see what we got for Arthur. Hold on, let me clean this up a little bit. I'm making a big old mess here. Okay, see what we got for Arthur. We got a Mara Leaf Rider, a Candlelight Vigil, Crystal Slipper, Bartered Cow, Ferocious Pup. Got a Tasseled Dromedary, a Grasp of Darkness, Footlight Fiend, Sphinx's Insight, Ember Hauler, and ooh, Lanowar Dead from Apocalypse. That's fun. Your random foil basic is... Oh, uh, Return to Ravnica Mountain. That's pretty. Your random foil is a Fanalax Tactics with your... Common or uncommon, worth at least a buck. Wow. Uh, you got a Voltaic Key. All right. And then, and I'm pretty sure this is still over a buck. If it's not, we will go ahead and replace it for you. And by the way, you know, I don't think I've ever addressed this. When we replace something, I don't just pick like a card and throw it in. I actually go back to the build a pack box. I randomly pull out one of the commons or uncommons worth a, at least a buck. And that's how we replace it. Um, just to get that out there, that way people don't think we're, you know, seeding packs with a certain pit for patrons or whatever. It's, that's how we do it. All right, first rare is you get a Mentor of the Meek from the Commander series. And then you got a Call the Gate Watch. All right. Well, let's see what you got in your patch. Congratulations on the Build-A-Pack box. I don't think that was too bad. Go like that. Oh, that means you got a foil. Let's see what we got here. We got a Nessian Horn Beetle, uh, Entrancing Liar, and Inevitable End. With your first rare being uh, Treacherous Blessing, 
And then your foil is... Oh, beautiful. You got a foil Daxos, blessed by the sun, and that's purdy. That is purdy. Good stuff. All right, next pack. Let's see what you got here. All right, no foil on this one. That's okay, then. We got a, a Rinalta called to the hunt. Uh, glimpse of freedom and the birth of Miletus, or, or is it Miletus? I, I don't know. But then your rare is Archon of Sun's Grace. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Well, there you are. Thank you very much for your patronage. Uh, so Archon's been with us for quite some time. In fact, uh, pretty much, uh, most, uh, uh, Adam Brody has been with us for a very long time. Golden Bow Huntsky. Um, a, a lot of our patrons have been patrons for a long time. And I think that speaks for, uh, for how we handle things, how we, how we run things here. So, um, or it, I could be wrong. Uh, it's just my assumption. But anyways, who do we got next? Next up, we have Mr. Joel Sudno Husky. Joel, thank you so much for being a patron. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, and I just realized that I didn't have enough packs in this booster box, so give me a second. And we're going to crack a fresh box for Joel. As I, I thought I had... Normally I set aside the packs. I get everything prepared ahead of time. Um, I guess I miscounted, or... I don't know. I don't know. All right. Oh, I love the smell of a fresh booster box. All right, so who do we... Let's see, we got one, two, three... So let's grab this. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I believe that'll be enough to finish up the video here. We'll grab that, put that back in there. All right, so once again, Joel said in a husky, uh, getting the two packs. And then we got one, two that one of those do one of these and then one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten all right let's see what we got for joel we got a Vidalkin Mesmerist. Uh, we've got a Zephyr Charge. We've got a Bane Hound. Uh, Sparring Mummy. Brineborn Cutthroat. Sentinel Spider. Uh, Cyclops Tyrant. Turn to Mist. Frontline Rebel. And a Trumpet Blast. And I'm completely off center for all of those. Awesome. I will try to fix that. All right. Um, <laughs> our foil basic is a Throne of Eldraine Forest, followed by, ooh, a foil mythic, Nahari's Wrath from the pre-release. Not bad on that one. All right. Our common run, common worth at least buck. You got a Ghost Quarter. That's, that's definitely playable. First rare is an Immaculate Magistrate, followed by... Ooh, Daragaz the Igniter. I love me some dragons. I really do. Good stuff. All right, congratulations on your pack. Build a pack, box pack. I think I've been able to say that correctly this entire video. Something's going on. I don't know. Normally I can't say it. All right, we got that. We got that. That should be rare. One, two, three. All right. Let's see. There is a... Furious Rise, there is a Hateful Eidolon, and then Reverent Hoplite, with your rare being, ooh, Shadow Spear. This thing's kind of doing things, getting people excited. That's good. I like that card. Alrighty, there, there, there. Oh, we got a foil. 
All right, let's see. Uh, Thundering Chariot. Hydra's Growth. Good one. Underworld Dreams. I know there's a lot of people... I mean, the, these cards weren't, like, insanely expensive before the, this reprint, but I know there's quite a few people that are kind of ticked about the reprint, I guess. I'm not at all. I'm all for this. All right, let's see what your rare is. You got yourself a Protean Thermaturge. That's some good stuff right there. That's I'm a fan of that card. Let's see what your foil is. It is a... Oh! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. You got yourself a mountain. That's not bad. All right. Well, congratulations, Joel. Thank you for being a patron. You can go ahead and grab your name tag. All right. Who do we have next? Next, we have Mr. Eric Birch. Eric, thank you so much for being a patron. It is appreciated. We're going to do that, and then we're going to grab you cards. One. We'll grab the very last one the very front one and try to get towards the middle for that and then we'll grab second from the front for this one i have no idea what the cards are in this it's completely random anytime i add cards i shuffle them um so i have no idea what is where in the sleeve cards and i know even less about what's in this uh, I actually have stacks of cards that I, I switch out. Like, um, when I added the cards we opened the other morning from Federalist Beyond Death, I had to take a wedge of these cards out just so I could fit them. And then I put them in a pile that I keep in my desk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Uh, I keep a pile on my desk of cards that are meant for this box, but I just don't have room yet. Eventually, I, I would like to be able to expand to two boxes, have, you know, one all all commons and uncommons and stuff like these and then have a second box with one row of commons and uncommons and the second row be you know the sleeve stuff that we have here uh, but we probably got a little bit before we get there but anyways let's go ahead and see what we got for eric's cards we've got a gateway sneak uh venomous hierophant luminous bonds uh tandem tactics got a demir spy bug luminous okay it's a different print but we don't do doubles so we're gonna go ahead and throw that back and i'm gonna grab you a different card uh, and you got a scour from existence griffin protector pulse of marasa mysterious path lighter and a wind drake from n13 all right foil Basic is a Throne of Eldraine Mountain, followed by a Foil Electrolyze. That's not bad. And that, that's actually a nice foil, too. Beautiful. All right, common or uncommon is a Veil of Summer. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's still over, but... <laughs> First rare, we have got a Josu Vetch. Vess, Lich Knight. Um, I don't think the value for that card is right there, but... I loved that card when it was in standard and I, I tried a pioneer thing uh, not digging it with that but anyways uh next rare is ooh, a bane fire bane fire that's another good one well congrats on your build a pack box pack let's go ahead and see what you got in your actual pack so oh, gotta flip it over got that got that rare Cummins. All right. Is it me, or does it seem like this card happens to be the top card a, a lot? Maybe it's just in my mind. I don't know. All right. We got a Careless Celebrant, uh, Setsian Petitioner, and Commanding Presence. With your rare being... Ugh. The Nessian Boar. Let me tell you how much I dislike playing against this card during pre-release. And then... To give it wings we've got the got the artifacts or the artifact now it's cheap to do it the pigs fly it's just gross all right next pack we got a foil all right good stuff all right let's see what we got here we got a willow wolf haven uh Timoret, chosen from death and then Field of Ruin. I'm glad this is back. I really am. 
I'm a fan of Field of Ruin. I really am. And with the, the new maze of Ith out, that seems good. Uh, your rare is a Temple of Plenty, followed by a Foil Final Death. All right. Well, there you are. Congrats on the pulls. Let's go ahead and slap your name tag on it. And then we have one more paper we're trying to do today, and I apologize for the length of this video. I really don't like going over 25 minutes, but... Um, we had to wait and cram all of the Patreon uh, stuff into two videos so we could wait for the, the new set to come out. So, anyways, next up, um, we have Sona. Sona, thank you so much for being a patron. Uh, and Sona has also been great uh, in dropping into all the streams we do and lots of good support. Um, thank you very much for, for being a patron and just for being the wonderful person you are. All right, we got that, we got that, we got one of those, we'll do one of these, and then ten out of here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, let's see what we can't get for Sona. All right, we got a Blood Mist Infiltrator. We've got a Ring of Flesh, Lava Kim Brawler, Disenchant, Dwarven Priest, Smoke Shroud. Got a Jousting Dummy, a Divination. That's not bad. Uh, Cemetery Recruitment, and then a Short Sword. All right, let's see what you got for your Foil Basic. It is oh Shadow More Planes. Oh. My camera does not do it justice. That is a beautiful one. Congrats on that. Your random foil is a Root Walla from M14. Common or uncommon, got yourself a Dovin's Veto. And then our, four, or our first uh, rare is a Chandra's Phoenix, followed by, oh, a Temple of Epiphany. Not bad. Well, congrats on that, Sona. Let's go ahead and... See what you got in your packs. Do, do, do. All right. Maybe it's not that one card I'm seeing on top. Maybe it's just I'm constantly seeing red cards on top. I don't know. All right. What do we got here? We got Escape Velocity. We've got a uh, Threnody Singer. And then Helioid's Punishment. Rare is... Oh! Winner, winner, chicken dinner! Ooh, Titan of Nature's Wrath. Congrats on that nice hit that I'm pretty sure paid for your Patreon this month and probably next month, too. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff, man. I love pulling good stuff for patrons. I really do. It warms my heart. I thought I saw a smudge. All right. Let's see what we got here. Uh, we got another Siona. Uh, Dream Shaper Shaman. And then Minions Return. With your rare being. Eidolon of Obstruction. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure we know what the winner here is. Right there. Good stuff. Congratulations, Sona. All right. Well, that about does it. Uh, don't forget to comment on this video you comment on this video and that will get you into the next drawing we do and that i promise this time it'll actually happen <laughs> um and uh uh oh one more thing if you could down in the description we've got a link to all of our important stuff our facebook our twitter um our patreon account if you want to check out that uh just kind of see what we're about and what we have to offer please visit those links Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and as always, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. Uh, all the social medias, Chuckwagon, MTG. Oh, I almost forgot to say, like, the one thing that I love saying the most. Um, please share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives.